Today's word of the day comes from the book of Deuteronomy. What happened here? No, it's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 19. 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 19. It says, do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses. Amen. Do not receive an accusation against an elder except from two or three witnesses. Amen. Praise the Lord. We were just having this discussion about some of the uh, leadership but recently. Um, one thing for sure, we know that if we follow Christ, uh, we guarantee the word says he'll give us a new family with persecution. Blessed are you. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you and for value and say all kinds of things falsely against you for my sake. Rejoice. Pastor, glad. Pastor you're what? chopping up. You, 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 your voice is chopping. Okay, it might be because of the background noise. There's some chaos going upstairs. Um... All right. Can you hear me clearly now? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Lord, we just ask you to get us through this. I come against all works of darkness, everything trying to stop this word from going forth. Bring glory to your name through it all. What I was saying is if you follow Christ, if we follow Christ, we will be persecuted. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and say all kinds of things falsely against you for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. That's what Jesus told to his disciples as they followed him. And so with that, we know just like Jesus, everyone gets accused and there's all kinds of things happening. But what God is telling us today is not, whether it's an elder or anyone else actually, do not just listen to one person and what they say because we're, it's a trap. Unless there are multiple witnesses, it was very clear. And they, they knew this. In Deuteronomy 19, verse 15, it says, One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or any sin that he commits. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, the matter shall be established, praise the Lord. That is what they knew then, and it's what the Word tells us today. Look at Jesus and what happened here in Matthew 26, verses 59 through 61. Now the chief priests, the elders, and all the councils sought false, false, te sought false testimony against Jesus to put him to death but found none. Even though many false witnesses came forward, they found none. But at last, two false witnesses came forth. And so we see with Jesus, it had to be fulfilled because he had to be convicted and go to the cross. And so it was allowed for two false witnesses to come forward uh, for Scripture to be fulfilled. But we see this very important truth in God's Word. Uh, okay, I included what they what they claimed from him. They said, this fellow said, I'm able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days. And we know that's not what Jesus said. He said, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. He was not talking about the building. He was talking about his body, the temple of God. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> so that was the accusations there. But this word is a timely word. And, uh, and something for all of us to know God's will, not to receive an accusation against an elder or anyone except from two or three witnesses, and then we can uh, trust that God is in, in, involved if there's more than one witness. So, Lord, we thank you for this word today. We ask you to plant this seed in our hearts and, and help us heed it as we move forward in this journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.